Welcome to Greynoise University. I am Michael Sargovakian, and this module is part of our Greynoise product overview training series. In this module, we will be covering the history of Greynoise, who and what is Greynoise, and the value Greynoise can provide for you. Greynoise was founded by Andrew Morris in 2017, and to give you an idea of who Andrew is, here's a glimpse of what following Andrew on Twitter looks like. But he actually unknowingly started what Greynose would become back in 2013. It began as a pet project of Andrew's when he set up about 10 honeypots in 10 different data centers. When he streamed all that data into one place, he started to notice overlaps in some of the IPs that were hitting these honeypots. He realized, these aren't IPs that you should be worried about. They're actually the ones you should not be worried about because they're hitting everyone. From there, Andrew gave a presentation at ShmooCon in 2014 called No Budget Threat Intel. That's where things began to snowball, and as Andrew's interest answering the question, what is the expected amount of scan traffic that any host on the internet should see, Graynoise naturally had to become a company, so this project could grow into what we know Graynoise to be today. So it started as 10 honeypots, has grown to over 8,500 sensors covering every corner of the world, will be processed and store several billion events every day. This gives you a visual of how Greynoise collects data today and makes its way to our end users. Our network of sensors listen to the internet. We don't actively scan like Shodan or Census. We process billions of events daily related to opportunistic probing, vulnerability exploitation, and brute force attacks. These events are automatically enriched, analyzed, tagged, and summarized to provide context and intent. This is all powered by our research team, who is analyzing this data to write these tags to identify behaviors observed by the gray noise sensor network. And to bring things full circle, today gray noise is focused on identifying internet background noise. Internet background noise includes everything from known benign scanners such as Shodan and Census, to malicious IPs that opportunistically scan the internet looking for things to exploit. This unnecessary noise is overwhelming to analysts as they spend time closing in alerts that turn out to be opportunistic scan traffic. We'll tell you which alerts are generated by that so that you can focus on the alerts that really matter to you. And this is where SOC teams are feeling the most pain today. In our customer testimonial with Hurricane Labs, they shared how they could figure gray noise in their workflow. They were seeing their alert volume grow and with that, their team feeling more overwhelmed. Hurricane Labs installed the Gray Noise Splunk integration to identify what traffic was seen in Gray Noise and ultimately background noise. By using this integration, it allowed them to reduce their alert volume by 25%, freeing up significant analyst capacity and making for a happier and more effective SOC team. You can sign up for a free community account today and get started identifying internet background noise for yourself. This concludes this training module. If you have any questions on the topic covered, please reach out to support at greennoise.io.